What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're on Mini Drag Bikes account and we are gonna be looking at Samson today. We literally have this argument every single week. I hate Samson, whereas Mini is a big fan. Um, so he's gonna, we're gonna see if Mini can change my opinion today. Um, but before we look at Samson, I just wanna take a minute to appreciate um, his account. So my account is four years free to play. Mini has been playing for two years and he's a big spender. And he is literally out. Actually, let's change it from rank to rarity. Let's go again. He's literally out bought me. So what's taken me four years to build up, he's easily just out. But basically just by spending money, you can out buy someone's account. So he's literally, he's probably got I'd say probably just twice, twice the amount of legendaries I've got, just about twice. But the quality of champions as well is just so, so different. We've got, um, you know, two, uh, we've got four mythicals, but I'm going to ignore Lady Miyaki because one's a copy and one's, um, you know, obviously you get that for free. But we've got Corixia, um, Mesmal, um, Fatalist as well, who I actually really wanted. Um, even though I don't think he's great. We've got Taras on the account. Who else? Like two Razzle Vargs as well. I skipped Razzle. Big mistake. I mean, great for Hydra. Great for um, Fire Knight as well. So yeah, really miss that. Oh, he's got Narsus as well. Marichka as well. So he's got the Ukrainian duo as well. Um, Akrizia as well. Warlord. I mean, this guy pretty much has like some of the best champions in the game by far. I mean, obviously the list goes on. There's there's loads here. So let's let's get back on track and let's find Samson. Where where is Samson? You know, there's so many legendaries. I can't see the trees through the woods. Okay, so there's Samson number one. Let's just make this easier. Samson. There we go. All right, so we've got Samson number one. And then we've got Samson number two. Okay, Samson number one is definitely in the better build. So this we'll look at this build first and then we'll talk about the other one. And we've lost it. Uh, actually, that's I'm being a complete noob today, guys. There we go. All right, so this is Samson number one. And so we've got Savage and a broken set, but one piece stone skin. So we're getting an extra 8% HP. That's great. That's exactly what you want to be doing. You want to stack as much HP as you can on Samson. So we'll go through every single piece. So we don't have any speed on this piece, but that's fine. We're making up for it in other ways. Ideally, you want to try and get speed on every single piece that you can. Obviously, we want speed, crit rate, crit damage. A little bit of accuracy is nice on him as well because... He, he has a stun, so make the most of it. Um, you know, he's fully awakened, awakened, ascended his gear. So, you know, we've got extra crit damage, got extra HP. And we've got speed speed on the boots and speed on, on the ascension as well. So, personally, I would probably... It's difficult to do, but if you can, you always want to try and go on, like, HP for the boots just so you can stack extra HP and build up speed elsewhere, but it's hard to do. It is really hard to do. So fair play, we've had to do it a different way. HP on the ring, substats in HP, crit damage on the amulet, again, fully ascended for extra crit damage. Um, and then HP on the banner, uh, only one roll of speed. Interesting. Uh, personally, you know, I like to roll this up as much as you can, um, at least like a double roll in speed. And then, you know, a bit of defense, a bit of HP is always nice, but... Um, you know, we're just that is an important stat as well. We he Samson, he's a stat hungry champion. He needs speed, he needs HP, he needs defense, crit rate, crit damage, and even a little bit of accuracy. So he needs it all. So total stats, we are rocking 106k HP. Um, so with my Samson, I was at 80k. Um, it's hard to reach 100, but I really feel if you don't hit that 100k mark. 
it's you're gonna suffer you are gonna suffer you know you want as much hp as possible um for survivability and damage um defense as well 3.6k that is a decent amount of uh, defense i think on mine i just completely neglected defense because like i said it's hard to get hp defense as well and um, like priority we're focusing speed crit rate crit damage hp and then defense as a luxury and then accuracy as a luxury as well 234 speed solid you want to be at least 200 and above with your nukas uh, crit cap perfect and then 323 crit damage that is so that is like really really good because if we look at um blessings you know oh we have got that that bonus uh crit damage as well my bad i thought i thought i thought we hadn't reached it okay so um crit damage could be a little bit higher um you know we, you know we've got gloves with crit damage We've got an amulet with it. We could probably, we should be around more 340 to 360. But again, you know, this is end game builds. It is so hard to get as much crit damage as possible, but that would definitely bump up his crit damage. And uh, Samson does have built in crit damage as well. So um, accuracy on the low side, um, it you could try and bump it up a little bit just to make sure it does land more often. Uh, I'd probably go for like at least 200. But again, he's stat hungry. He's a stat hungry champion. So it is hard to try and tick all the boxes. Um, so blessing, I would not go crushing rend. Um, the reason is unless you're at six, um, you're not getting that much ignore defense. In fact, we're only going to get 1% extra ignore defense for arena, which isn't great. Obviously, if you're doing like clan boss or something else, that will increase, so it's good there. But outside of that, you're not really getting the benefit. And for me personally, Samson's okay for PvE. Um, like obviously great for mid game. I mean, if you're end game, you should definitely have better options than Samson for PvE content. But mid game, you know, he will carry you and he will do a lot of work. But outside of that, I just feel like he's not that great. So I'd rather use him for arena. I feel that's where he really does shine. So um, and when we get to six, then you'd get like an extra 6% ignore defense. Um, but yeah, that's really hard to get to. Obviously, awakening champions can take like six months just to awaken one uh, champion. So it is kind of ridiculous. So, you know, you can only do what you can do. Personally, um, I would go with Soul Reap. Um, Samson's very, very tanky. Soul Reap is amazing for arena and pve content and you know if you sort of almost kill someone and they're still alive and the back of your mind you're like if only i had soul reap i would have dropped that person it is frustrating the other really good option is warden of the fallen that but no is it yes yeah, it is bone armor so hey guys do you know what it's been so long since i've played well, I've had a bit of a break from Raid. Yeah, it is Warden of the Fallen. Yeah, this just makes you so tanky, even harder to kill. It is a great option as well. Um, I really don't know which one I'd prefer to go for, to be honest, but they are both insane. So his passive, Affronted, decreases the damage this champion receives from critical hits by 20%. Counterattacks the um, when hit. So if someone hits him with a critical hit, He's going to counterattack them no matter what. That is such a sick passive. So like, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Samson, um, it's just I just feel like he doesn't do enough damage. But Mini's trying to convince me in this build he can do that kind of damage. I mean, my Samson was pretty well built, um, but I just feel like he couldn't finish off um, Revivers. And what would happen is they would have a Reviver and... You know, I knew that if I was using my Leo or Hepfrak, they would have dropped that that reviver. But Samson just did not have the damage to do it, and he would obviously he wouldn't land the stun because they got high resistance, and then they would just revive the whole team, and I'd lose. Um, whereas if I had a different champion, I would have definitely won. So has fifty percent chance of countering attack the attacker when hit with a strong normal or weak. So basically, if anyone just hits him. There isn't a critical here. He's got a 50% chance of carrying attack. I don't know why they've put all these extra words in. It's not necessary. But um, yeah, so he's got a 50-50% chance of carrying attack. 
that's pretty high. Um, so yeah, that is very, very good. So it's A3, raw victory. Plays an increased buff on all allies for three turns. Also plays a 30% increased damage buff on this champion for three turns. Then grants an extra turn. So that's great. It means he's going to get even more crit damage uh, and just do, you know, it's going to help bump up the damage that he does. His A2, explosive temper. This bra, he's mad. Um, attacks all enemies, removes all increased debuffs from enemies before attacking, places an extra hit if he kills any enemies. So that's really good. So what's great about this is that um, there's a lot of support champions that are going to bring in that increased defense and it does make it hard to kill tanky teams so we're going to be able to strip that and then just absolutely slap but also if we go against like a, a squishy team like someone with like maybe a wukong we're going to get an extra hit if we kill an enemy so that's great so it's going to be a one hitter but if we kill someone it's a double hitter that is also very good so I know this is really going against what I'm saying. You know, I was absolutely slamming uh, Samson, but, um, you know, he does have like a really good kit. I just, I don't know if his multipliers are low or something, but for me, I felt like he just did not hit. So his A1, Vanity Fists, uh, attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 35% chance of placing stun. And when fully booked, that's 45% chance. So... Just round it up, we'll say it's 50-50. That is a very good chance of landing a stun. And it's a double hitter as well, which is great. So um, I think Samson's actually a great counter to Wukong. So obviously we can take hits from Wukong and say like the most common team comp of all time has to be Wukong and Ultimate Death Knight. And, you know, if Wukong's just reviving from Ultimate Death Knight, we are going to double hit, so we are going to just kill Wukong. Obviously, Ultimate Death Knight will take one of those hits, but the second one will definitely drop him. So, yeah, he is, like, a pretty solid champion, and he's got an aura as well, so uh, increases defense for all allies in all battles by 30%. Pretty nice. Now, Masteries. I would definitely change up your Masteries just a little bit. Um, so what I would go for is take Shield Breaker over Heart of Glory. In Arena, you know, if the team's faster than you or something happens, you have to have full HP to get that extra 5%. So even if, like, a Hegemon just lightly taps you, you're going to lose that 5%. So it's almost it's pointless. That is just only good for PvE content. Shield Breaker is great. So Shield Breaker... And this is how it works as well, by the way. So I used to think if someone's got like, and also, you know, Bolster is everywhere now these days, you know, Kraken's whales, they are constantly buying Bolster. So we need to get this extra 25%. But how it works is it only does damage to the shield. So we're going to get an extra 25% damage. But when the shield goes, any other leftover damage is not going to get boosted by 25%, it'll just go back to normal. So that's really, really important because I used to think you're going to get like a 25% extra damage. And to be fair, that does sound kind of broken. So yeah, you have to take Shield Breaker, such a better option. Uh, Ruthless Ambush is great, but Whirlwind of Death is also great. They're both great options. Um, so it depends if you just want to try and kill everyone quicker or if you know that you're going to kill someone, we'll get extra speed. We can cycle for our abilities quicker get extra turns, and of course he's hitting with that A1, and we've got a double chance to land a, almost a 50% chance stun. Um, so yeah, really, really important. Yeah, opportunist, it makes sense. If you're bringing someone with any form of CC, we're pretty much going to increase our damage by 12%. Um, Stroke to Fury, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, basically, it's if someone puts a debuff on us, we can do more damage, and it can stack up to 12%. I guess it can be kind of good. Um, I guess the reason I'm not a big fan is someone puts like decrease attack on you and drop defense and all these other things. You know, it's not really going to account for the damage that we're taking. So to me, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, for the support tree, I would have not taken this at all. You definitely want to go defense, uh, defiant. 
Then we're taking improved parry. So improved parry is great, especially on Samson, because we're going to get... So already in his passive, I think it was 20%. So we're adding an extra 8% for critical hits to reduce the damage to receive. It just makes him super tanky and hard to deal with. Uh, then wisdom of battle as well. So if someone does stun, sleep, whatever to us, another, you know, loads of uh, CC, we've got a pretty good chance of getting block debuffs on us for one turn. That is insane. So, you know, it means that we almost become like an unstoppable force and we can just, you know, lock out the team. And then we sort of, you know, I'll probably take Harvest of Despair because we can land, uh, land, we can land, we can land a stun. So, you know, because we can land a stat, oh my God, because we can land a stun, um, we can, we've got a pretty good chance of landing a leech. And then... It's, I, I, I don't know, Retribution would be great because we do have counter-attack built into our kit. And it just means we've got a better chance of landing a counter-attack or you can go Cycle Revenge. It's up to you. It, they're both really good as each other. I really, I probably would lean towards Cycle Revenge because we've already got so much chance of landing a counter-attack. But having Cycle Revenge as well, you know, a chance to boost our turn meter and then just go and pop off with our A1. It just makes more sense to me. So that's where I would go. But um, yeah, so what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to jump on this website called Raid Bros. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll jump on Raid Bros and I'll show you what I think the mastery should look like. All right, guys, so we're on Raid Bros and this is how I think the mastery should look. And I was just thinking about it and actually I would take Methodical. If you think about it, he's constantly counter attacking with that A1. He's going to build up that extra 10% damage with his A1 very, very quickly. It just makes sense. And like I said, I'm not a fan of Stoked Fury because you have to have debuffs on you. And I, I don't want debuffs. Like, you know, I would probably pair up Sanson with a cleanser. So it doesn't make sense. It almost becomes a worthless um, mastery because, like I said, you don't want to be debuffed. He wants to be debuffed. Um, otherwise, Blood Shield is very good. So if you kill someone, we're going to get a shield as well. Great survivability. But yeah, this is exactly how I would build my Samson. All right, so let's take him into the arena and see what this chimp can do. All right, guys, so I found this tough team. Uh, Siffy, Rotos, Yumiko, Ultima, Death Knight, plus four Rotos. And we've got double Samson. See what he's made of. Um, we've got Marichka and um, Necred. Let's see what happens, guys. Um, it's kind of hard because... This isn't my account. I don't know what the champions are built like. Uh, apart from the Samsons, obviously they're just damaged, but we'll see what's happening. And wow, that is a long low time. All right, there we go. So let's see. What you got, bruh? All right, okay, nice. We're in stone skin. And I don't actually, because <laughs> I don't have Marichka on my account. Um, she, okay, let's boost that turn meter. I want to try and go, yes, nice. We want to go first. I want to try and drop Yumiko. All right, she's down to half HP. Please, please let my next... Sam yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. You need your champions to be fast. If they're not fast, it doesn't matter how much damage they do. You're not going to get a turn. And that's great. Like, her not getting a chance really is going to make it a lot easier for us to win. And there we go, Samson. Wow. Okay, didn't do too much damage there on Sifi. And we didn't... Rem yeah, so... Mm, I, 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 didn't, I missed it. I don't know if we were too fast, but it looks like we didn't strip um, the... What's it called? We did not strip the increased defense. Oh... And there goes um, you, uh, Necred. Okay, try and... Oh, my God. Okay, let's go for Sifi instead. And we're just not hitting that hard. And that's what I was, that was my beef with Samson, just not being able to hit hard enough. Okay, so let's see. Like, his A1 is pretty weak, but the A2... Yeah... What that was like nothing, literally nothing. Um, let's go again. So I'm gonna put it on one speed. I just want to see what we're doing to Sifi. And 
That was a 30k hit. That's weak. My Leo would hit for like 100k, like easily on the A3, the A2. They are hitting way, way harder than that. I think like on my A2, it's like 120k hits across the board. Um, yeah, just not good enough. Let, let's try a few more fights though before we make a decision. But I still feel like he's pretty weak. All right, guys, I found another tough team. Ancora, Narcissus, and two Mythicals. So we're going to bring in Taras. I did not want to do this, but I just want to look at the damage difference between Taras and Samson. And hopefully you should see a big difference. And again, what is up with this long loading time? Come on, Plarium. Sort it out. All right, there we go. So they're probably going to go first. I hope they get to go first. Okay, yeah, let's cleanse. And then... Okay, so we will go first. We don't have a lot of buffs, actually. So not the best option. But that was, what, 40k for his A2. And then let's just put it on one speed for Samson. See what the damage is. So 57k, it's an okay hit. I mean, considering the level of gear that we've got, like we have insane gear, really good stats, and we're not really hitting that hard. Um, just want to see, like, Taras is just popping off, though, but he is massively out-damaging. Oh, let's just do the A1 from Necred. Okay, see what Sam's... Obviously, he's weak affinity, so I don't really expect him to do much, but that wasn't particularly strong. Um, and Taras, right now as well, he doesn't have all the buffs for his... Um, A3 to like really pop off but let's see let's see what sort of damage he's going to do uh, okay so it's 40k so that was pretty weak but again he didn't have all those buffs if you stack the buffs on him he would do insane damage and it'd definitely be way more than Samson so I'm going to do one last fight um, I did see a Wukong team and with Kandrathon as well. So we can see how tanky Samson is as well. All right, guys, another strong team. Wukong, Kandrathon, Warlord, Duchess. I mean, doesn't get much stronger than that. So we're going to go double reviver and Samson. I really want Samson to eat some of these shots just so you can see how tanky he is. Um, I don't think he's as tanky as Taras or Narsus, but he is still a pretty tanky mofo. So just going to let them do their thing. Come on, Wukong. Show us what you're made of. And literally did nothing. So Kandrathon, I should maybe be a little bit scared of. But we managed to eat a decent... You know, they took that as a double here as well. And we managed to survive. Uh, might die now with Wukong and his A2 of death. I mean, probably the most broken ability in the game with his self-revive. No, he decided to go with A1. Oh, we're not quite ready to um, to revive just yet. And let's just lock out Wukong or let's just slap him to death. And we're going to get that revive. Yes. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to win this one, boys. Um, hopefully we should be able to, though. And there's the Staff of Wonder. Didn't kill us because he is just that tanky. Uh, he is a real, real tanky champion. So going to have to take out Duchess first. And of course, we're just getting CC'd all day. Let's see if we can actually kill Duchess with that A1. And it's just, it's just not hitting hard enough. I just know that there's so many other champions in the game. If I was using them... They would have they would drop Duchess easy. Again, just not hitting hard enough. So I, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I don't know how you guys feel about Samson. For me, I just feel like he's just not at that level 
compared to other nukers. I still stand by my statement that he's just not good enough. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you disagree with me? Are you guys, um, you know, do you agree with Mini? Who do you think's right? Let me know in the comments below. But I still stand that I feel that they're just not on the same level. They're just not. But, um, you know, like if I was to go Taurus or, or Narsus, you know, they're probably like top of the game right now. And obviously Sigmund, uh, Sigmund, Sigmund Freud, um, they're like top of the game right now. And I feel like Samson's probably like, I would say B tier as a new car. I wouldn't say he's nowhere near as good as some of the gods out there. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.